Hey guys, welcome to a, another commentary done by Diggity in the upper right hand corner. We have Art of Turtle starting as the gray Zerg. Bottom right hand corner, we have Kiko starting as the green Terran. And this is BSL season 14. Wanted to say 15 for a half second there. Round of eight between Art of Turtle and Kiko. Both part of Team Ash. By the way, check out Brood War Clan League if you haven't already. I think Revolution Veer does some commentary of that. There's also STPL out there with Quicks. Team Ash is oftentimes fielded there. This is going to be on Butter. And I don't know how it's going to play out between these two. Part of me wants to favor Art of Turtle. Simply because when he has gone heads up versus other macro Terrans, he has ended up victorious just because he does have very ferocious macro. However, in his matchups all the way around, it seems that Art of Turtle has struggled against Terran more than other opponents. In particular, because of Overlord movements, oftentimes losing rally points on Overlords and just kind of ending them up stranded out in midfield where Marines pick them off at really critical moments. However, he's going up against Kiko. I've seen Kiko play versus Terran here and or versus Zerg here and there. He's obviously a very strong macro-oriented player. And my concern is, is if he just tries to play the safe macro style versus Ardor Turtle, Ardor Turtle will simply out macro him. And this is going to be on Butter on one of those maps where whoever tends to be the aggressor early tends to get the advantage. Although I think it plays a little bit differently in Zerg versus Terran just because of just how that standard match works out. However, if I... I guess my feeling out of it is, is if Kiko just opts to try to go for that standard two, bar uh, two barracks into Academy, I would not be shocked to see Art of Tur Turtle take game one. However, if Kiko opts to do something a little bit more aggressive, I could see Kiko taking the win from Art of Turtle. We'll see how it plays out. First barracks has been planted. Drone Scout, initially, it looks like we are seeing a 12 hatchery from Art of Turtle. Oftentimes defiantly going 12th hatchery in many circumstances. The SCV getting that initial scout in, being pulled back, an extractor already on the way. I think we're at the, around the 205, 207 mark. Pretty standard timing. So SCV's here. Expansion being grabbed upon seeing that 12th hatchery. We do have that spawning pool just about finished. We'll see if Arter Turtle dedicates, or how many larvae he decides to dedicate to producing Zerglings. Currently, Arter Turtle looks like he is setting up to potentially build a second barracks. So it looks like he, I think he is planning on going, it looks like that academy and no larva save. So just single Zergling. Some drones actually pulling off the line to try to do as much damage to that SCV as possible. Now going to plop into that expansion and an immediate tech to layer for Arter Turtle. So Looks like we are absolutely seeing two hatch play, which is the standard thing these days, but we'll see at what point or if Kiko opts to grab that third hatchery before that spire. First Marine out on the front door, feeling very, very safe with the amount of Zerglings that are out there. Refinery being grabbed in barracks, so thus far all indicators are that Kiko is just going to go for that very safe, very standard two racks academy style of play. And I think that is something that Art of Turtle plays really well into. So first, looks like a Zergling's already got to kill another SCV scout moving out. Wants to get confirmation as to whether that there's that third hatchery or not. Burrow being researched. And this is kind of an accidental click. I'm wondering if this is a misclick on Art of Turtle's side or if he's going to try to go for... I'm glad I caught that. I would have not caught that had I not accidentally clicked that hatchery. But I'm almost wondering if he's going to go for a sneak attack with his Zerglings. So here's the Spire. And I, I, that could be a misclick, which is unfortunate because it's 100 gas, which means there's going to be, f first of all, it delays the spire and fewer mules are going to end up in the air. The Zergling's starting to field out. We do have five Marines out on the front. An initial depot being placed out there. No bunker as of yet. There's the academy. But because this SCV scout was able to sneak out into the main, it's actually going to, and actually it's going to be able to track this drone that's moving out to potentially take a third. I want to see, yeah, so Burrow's finished, so I want to see, yeah, okay, so single Zergling burrowing now on the front, and maybe that's just to provide scouting information to see when Marines, when if a Medic Marine army is moving out and when. 
But this SCV scout has, uh, I really like what Kiko's done here, is, is because that SCV stayed alive and gotten all sorts of scouting information, it's confirmed an in-base three hatchery. So because of it, the Marines are now moving in the way upon seeing that. There is a single Sutton colony being built. We need to see if there's going to be an additional, but this is going to be seven Marines. No second Sutton colony yet. And I don't see any burrowed Zerglings between here and there. Okay, so just engaging, taking out the Sun Colony before it's even dropped. So now, all of a sudden, Articurl, despite seeing the Marines and Medic coming, having to pull drones, losing drones on the front line, and doesn't have sufficient forces to defend his natural expansion. I wonder if this is nerves at play, and Overlord being taken out. Mutalisks are being produced. But Kiko already with big wins early, walking into the main, only two Mutalisks there to help defend, and I'm wondering if these drones are gonna, I mean, maybe even want to burrow these drones. Zerglings coming from both angles, the Mutalisks overhead. Looks like it is gonna be able to clean up this Medic Marine Force, but the damage has been done. Now Kiko might want to place a bunker at his front just to not die to a counter all in. And as long as he, it looks like some Marines wait into the corner, as long as he does that, he's got a huge lead, massive amount of workers, some Marines grouping up, more missile turrets, but still no bunker on the front. Comsat being dropped as well. Okay, this could be potentially a mistake. We'll see. Because certainly our turtle in this situation is going to dedicate these links to an attack on the front. Two Marines on delay, wandering in, killing one Zergling. The rest of the Marine Zerglings pressing in. It doesn't look like it's sufficient to go ahead and, yeah, break the Marine front. So there's GG. Kiko having plenty of troops to go ahead and repel anything that Arter Turtle had there. But Arter Turtle throwing out Burrow early. And kind of an odd build order and really nothing working out. Kiko jumping on top of it. Not enough something colonies in time. Yeah, so quick loss from Arter Turtle. I'm wondering if that was like an experimental attempt or if that was just nerves playing. We'll have to see. Moving on to game two. Hope you guys enjoyed it regardless. Thanks for listening.